The Spain women's national football team Spanish, Selección Española de Fútbol Femenina represents Spain in international women's football since 1980, and is controlled by the Royal Spanish Football Federation, the governing body for football in Spain. Spain have qualified two times for the FIFA Women's World Cup and three times for the UEFA Women's Championship, reaching the semi-finals in 1997. Spain's youth teams are one of the most successful and have enjoyed a great success in 2018, getting the two continental titles U17 and U19, and reaching the two worldwide finals, winners in the U17 World Cup and runners-up in the U20 World Cup. History Early years After underground women's football clubs started appearing in Spain around 1971 of its instigators, Rafael Muga, decided to create a national team. It was an unofficial project as football was considered an unsuitable sport for women by both the Royal Spanish Football Federation and National Movement's Women's Section, which organized women's sports in Francoist Spain. When asked about the initiative in January 1971 RFEF President José Luis Pérez Paya answered I'm not against women's football, but I don't like it either. I don't think it's feminine from an aesthetic point of view. Women are not favored wearing shirt and trousers. Any regional dress would fit them better. One month later, on 21 February 1971, the unofficial Spanish national team, including Conchi Sanchez, who played professionally in the Italian league, made its debut in Murcia's La Condamina against Portugal, ending in a 3 3 draw. The team wasn't allowed to wear RFEF's crest and the referee couldn't wear an official uniform either. On July 15, with a five days delay for transfer issues, it played its first game abroad against Italy in Turin's Stadio Comunale, suffering an 8 1 defeat. It was then invited to the second edition of unofficial Women's World Cup, Mundialito 1981, but RFEF forbid them to take part in the competition. Despite these conditions, Spain was entrusted hosting the 1972 World Cup. RFEF vetoed the project, and the competition was cancelled and disbanded. The unofficial Spanish team itself broke up shortly after. Topic: 1980s officiality of the team. After the transition to democracy in the second half of the decade, RFEF finally accepted women's football in November 1980, creating first a national cup and next a national team, which finally made its debut under coach Teodoro Nieto on the 5th of February 1983 in Agarta, Pontevedra. The opponent was again Portugal, which defeated Spain 0-1. The team subsequently played two leg friendlies against France and Switzerland drawing with both opponents in Aranwas and Barcelona and losing in Perpignan before it finally clinched its first victory in Zurich 0 On 27 April 1985 it played its first official match in the 1987 European Championships qualification, losing 1-0 against Hungary. After losing the first four matches Spain defeated Switzerland and drew with Italy to end third. The team also ended in its group's bottom positions in the subsequent 1989 and 1991 qualifiers. After the former Nieto was replaced by Ignacio Carreda, who has coached the team since September 1, 1988. Teodoro Nieto left the most international footballer Conchi Sanchez Amancio out of the Spanish team even when the player was the first capitaine during the 70s. She was playing in Italy at the time winning championships and Italian cups. There was not substantial reasons to leave such extraordinary player out at the peak of her career. The damage was done to such brilliant player who loved to play for her country and fully deserved more respect and recognition. Topic: 1990s and 2000s. Growing up, the 1995 Euro qualifying marked an improvement as Spain ended second, one point from England, which qualified for the final tournament. In these qualifiers, Spain attained its biggest victory to date, a 17-0 over Slovenia. 
In the 1997 Euro qualifying it made a weaker performance, including a record 0–8 loss against Sweden in Gandia, but the European Championship was expanded to eight teams and Spain still made it to the Repechage, where it defeated England on a 3–2 aggregate to qualify for the competition for the first time. In the first stage the team drew 1–1 against France, lost 0–1 against host Sweden, and beat 1–0 Russia to qualify on goal average over France to the semi-finals, where it was defeated 2–1 by Italy. All three goals were scored by Angelus Parejo. This success was followed by a long series of unsuccessful qualifiers. In the 1999 World Cup's qualifying Spain ended last for the first time, not winning a single game. In the 2001 Euros it made it to the Repechage, where it suffered a 3–10 aggregate defeat against Denmark. In the 2003 World Cups it again ended last despite starting with a 6–1 win over Iceland. In the 2005 Euros, where a 9–1 win over Belgium was followed by a five-game non-scoring streak, it ended third behind Denmark and Norway. In the 2007 World Cups the team again ended third behind Denmark and Finland despite earning seven more points. In the 2009 Euros Spain made its better performance since the 1995 qualifiers, narrowly missing qualification as England clinched the top position by overcoming a 2–0 in the final match's second half. Spain had to play the repechage, where it lost both games against the Netherlands. In the 2011 World Cup Spain again ended second, with no repechage, after England again overcame a half-time 2–0 in their second confrontation. Topic 2010s First World Cup. Spain achieved 16 years later a place for the final stage of a European Championship. The team qualified for the UEFA Women's Euro 2013 after beating Scotland in the qualifiers playoff. In the group stage, a win over England and a draw against Russia was enough to qualify for the quarter-finals, where it was eliminated by Norway. Two years later, Spain qualified for the first time ever to a World Cup, winning nine of its ten matches of the qualifying round. In the group stage of the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup. Their campaign, however, ended up being a disaster. Spain managed only a 1-1 draw into the weakest team in the group, Costa Rica, before losing 0-1 to Brazil. In the last match with South Korea, they still lost 1-2 after an initial lead, becoming the worst European team in the tournament. After the World Cup, the 23 players on the roster issued a collective statement for the end of Ignacio Queretas' reign as head coach. Later that summer, Quereda stepped down and was replaced by Jorge Vilda, who had previously coached the U19 team, and was on the shortlist for the 2014 FIFA World Coach of the Year. Spain has achieved to qualify for the UEFA Women's Euro 2017 by winning all the matches and ahead in 11 points to the second classified. In 2017 the national team participated for the first time in the Algarve Cup winning the tournament. However, its performance in the UEFA Women's Euro 2017 was very disappointing, only one match won against Portugal, the worst ranked team in Euro, two defeats against England 0 and Scotland 0 in group stage, miraculously Spain advanced to the quarter-finals, where losing against Austria in a quarter-final finishing 0-0 after extra time, then 3-5 in penalty shootout. Eventually, the national football team was eliminated after more than 345 minutes without scoring a single goal. Competitive record World Cup Topic European Championship Topic Olympic Games Topic Team Topic Current Squad The following players were named to the squad for the friendly matches against Poland and Germany on 8 and 13 November 2018. Caps and goals as of 14 November 2018. 
Topic: <laughs> Recent call-ups. The following players were named to a squad in the last 12 months. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Previous squads. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Coaching staff. Topic: Results and fixtures. For all past match results of the national team, see single season articles and the team's results. Pagath following matches were played or are scheduled to be played by the national team in the current or upcoming season. Win, draw, loss. Topic: Overall official record. Topic Honors Topic Titles Algarve Cup Champions, twenty seventeen Cyprus Cup Champions, twenty eighteen Topic Other Awards Premios Nacionales del Deporte National Sports Awards, Baron de Gaulle Cup 2014. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Most capped Spanish players. Still active national team players in bold. Topic Top Spain goalscorers Still active national team players in bold Topic Hat tricks Four players scored four goals, five players scored five goals, seven players scored seven goals. Topic Clean sheets Still active national team players in bold. Topic Progression. Topic Youth teams. Topic Under twenty. Topic Under nineteen Topic Under eighteen Topic Under seventeen FIFA Under seventeen Women's World Cup UEFA Women's Under seventeen Championship Topic Under sixteen. There is also a women's national team that represents Spain in international football in under sixteen categories and is controlled by the Royal Spanish Football Federation. This team usually participates each year in UEFA Women U16 Development Tournament, although it is not an official tournament with remarkable success. Topic. See also Spain women's national beach soccer team Spain women's national futsal team Women's football in Spain